the determination of the electrode potential using the standard reference electrode involves an assumption that the concentration of all the species involved in the electrode reaction is unity. However, this need not be always true. What's the solution to this real world problem then? Let's dive into the content to learn more. An electrochemical cell operating at 25 degrees Celsius temperature, one atmospheric pressure and one molar concentration of solutions is said to be at standard conditions. A change in any of these conditions will result in non-standard conditions. Consider a zinc silver cell operating at standard condition. Here zinc acts as an anode and silver acts as a cathode. At the anode, zinc loses two electrons and gets oxidized to give Zn2 plus ion. The released electrons travel through the external circuit and reach the cathode. Here, Ag plus ions from the solution migrate to the cathode. Two of the Ag plus ions gain electrons coming from the anode and get reduced to give Ag atoms. Therefore, the net reaction in the cell is as shown. Zn solid plus 2 Ag plus aqueous gives Zn2 plus aqueous plus 2 Ag solid. The standard potential of this cell is given as E0 cell is equal to E0 Ag plus Ag minus E0 Zn2 plus Zn. The zinc silver cell can be represented as Zn Zn2 plus aqueous 1 molar Ag plus aqueous 1 molar Ag at 25 degrees Celsius. Now consider another zinc silver cell in which the concentrations of the electrolytes are different. The cell potential as you can see is different here. We can represent such a non-standard cell as Zn solid Zn2 plus aqueous 1 molar Ag plus aqueous 0.1 molar Ag solid. Although the reactions occurring in the two half cells are the same, let us study why the cell potential is different. The potential of such a cell is calculated by a special equation known as Nernst equation. The Nernst equation for this cell is given as E cell is equal to E0 cell minus 0.059 divided by n multiplied by log Zn2 plus divided by Ag plus square where E cell is the potential of the non-standard cell E0 cells are the standard potential of the cell n is the number of electrons transferred the number 0.059 is the value of a factor 2.303 RT upon F where R is the universal gas constant, T is the temperature in Kelvin and F is the Faraday. The terms Zn2 plus and Ag plus in square brackets are the concentrations of the respective electrolytes. Thus, substituting the values of concentrations and the other parameters in the Nernst equation, the cell potential can be worked out. To summarize, the potential of a non-standard electrochemical cell can be found out using the Nernst equation. Thus, Nernst equation proves to be very helpful in the determination of the potential of an electrochemical cell. Science becomes easier when it relates with real life situations. We shall be bringing more amazing concepts to you in our upcoming videos. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.